In the sprawling tapestry of television history, certain moments stand out like stars against the night sky. And amidst this constellation of memories, one peculiar star burned brighter than the rest back in the year 1978. It was a time when the mundane mundanity of daily life was momentarily set aside, and an extraterrestrial visitor beamed onto our screens, capturing our imaginations and tickling our funny bones. Picture this, a young, offbeat alien named Mork, played by the inimitable Robin Williams, crash landing into the lives of a quirky duo in Boulder, Colorado. The result, Mork and Mindy, a show that combined the zany antics of a cosmic stranger adjusting to earthly quirks with the heartwarming chemistry of unexpected human connection. Maybe you remember the first time you saw Mork's rainbow suspenders, his backward language, or his charmingly oddball perspective on our world. Perhaps it was Mindy's patient and compassionate nature that resonated, or the undeniable comedic genius that Robin Williams unleashed with every frenetic gesture and lightning fast quip. But beyond the surface, there were intricacies that wove this show into the fabric of TV history. The quirky Mork wasn't just a comic extraterrestrial. He was a vessel for playful social commentary, cleverly tackling the peculiarities of human behavior and society. And while the laughter rang loud, there were poignant moments that tugged at heartstrings, reminding us that, no matter where we're from, we're all navigating this strange existence together. So, as we delve into some random tidbits about the show, let's remember those nights when we sat around the TV, sharing laughter with Mork and Mindy, and unknowingly connecting with the world beyond our own. Because in the end, isn't that what entertainment is all about? A mirror reflecting our own quirks and complexities, offering us a chance to laugh, ponder, and connect. And now, as the cosmic curtain rises on some delightful tidbits about Mork and Mindy, remember to cherish those timeless moments that remind us of the magic that TV can bring into our lives. It's time to journey back, uncover the hidden gems, and rekindle the spark of nostalgia that this show ignited. So, buckle up, fellow travelers of the entertainment universe, and let's embark on this whimsical voyage together. Mork and Mindy's second season woes, a ratings roller coaster in the annals of television history. Few sitcoms have made as explosive a debut as the 1978 series Mork and Mindy. Starring the irrepressibly zany Robin Williams as the alien Mork from Mork and the charming Pam Dauber as Mindy McConnell, the show quickly captivated audiences with its intergalactic premise and Williams' frenetic comedic style. The show's initial success was nothing short of meteoric. Landing in the coveted third spot overall during its debut season, it seemed that Mork's otherworldly antics were here to stay. Capitalizing on this triumph, ABC made a bold move for the second season, relocating the show to a Sunday slot to take on CBS's comedy lineup, notably the well-established Archie Bunker's place. This maneuver, however, marked a turning point in the show's trajectory. Almost immediately, the show's ratings began a freefall. The whimsical charm that had endeared it to viewers now seemed lost amidst the Sunday night shuffle. Despite a mid-season return to its original Thursday night time slot, the ratings never fully rebounded. The sharp decline was a stark reminder of the precariousness of television success, even for a show backed by a talented cast and a promising premise. Behind the scenes, a unique factor contributed to the show's unevenness, Robin Williams' uncontainable improvisational skills. Williams' ad-libbing prowess was so prolific that writers intentionally left gaps in the scripts, allowing him the creative freedom to spontaneously elevate scenes. This approach, while fostering moments of brilliance, also led to inconsistencies in pacing and tone, potentially contributing to the show's tumultuous sophomore season. Despite its roller coaster trajectory, Mork and Mindy remains a symbol of the unpredictability of television success. It serves as a reminder that even the most promising of debuts can face unforeseen challenges in the cutthroat world of entertainment. And while the show's second season might not have lived up to the brilliance of its premiere, its place in television history as a quirky and pioneering sitcom endures. Jay Leno, the well-known comedian and late-night host, once vied for a role in the beloved 1978 TV series Mork and Mindy. Interestingly, Leno had his sights set on portraying Rameau da Vinci, a character deeply embedded in the show's quirky charm. However, the path to stardom took a different turn for Leno. He recounts an encounter with an ABC executive who candidly informed him that his visage possessed the potential to frighten little children. While the role ultimately slipped through his grasp, 
Lino's journey from auditions to acclaim is a testament to the unpredictable nature of showbiz. In the alternate universe of Mork and Mindy, the origins of the Orkins, Mork's extraterrestrial kin, might raise a few eyebrows. Believe it or not, these peculiar beings trace their evolution back to none other than chickens. This curious twist of imagination adds a feather of whimsy to the show's overarching narrative. While the connection might seem clucked up, it's a prime example of the inventive storytelling that captivated audiences during the late 1970s. Speaking of captivating characters, the enigmatic Exidor, portrayed by the talented Robert Donner, has a lineage rooted in cinematic history. Exidor, a regular eccentric on the show, is revealed to be the son of Exeter, a character from the classic film This Island Earth. This subtle nod to science fiction lore adds an extra layer of depth for eagle-eyed viewers and showcases the show's penchant for intertextual playfulness. Mork and Mindy, with its zany premise and endearing cast, left an indelible mark on television history. Each piece of trivia, like a pixel in a larger mosaic, contributes to the show's legacy as a beacon of 1970s sitcom innovation. Harry Marshall's 1978 TV series Mork and Mindy carved its eccentric path into television history, and a remarkable tidbit from its production sheds light on the late Robin Williams' unparalleled commitment to his craft. During auditions, Williams, destined to be Mork, astonishingly sat upside down in response to a simple direction to take a seat. Marshall, the show's producer, saw in his audacious choice a spark of extraterrestrial originality, proclaiming he was the only alien to audition. This unconventional essence would become emblematic of William's portrayal. Amidst the show's lightheartedness, a poignant episode, Gotta Run, Part 1, resonates with deep sorrow. Filmed just a day after Williams lost his close friend John Belushi, the star struggled to stifle his grief. Reports reveal that during rehearsals, Williams broke down, tears streaming as he was informed of Belushi's untimely passing. His emotional turmoil rendered him unable to continue, a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of human emotion and creativity. Beyond the comedic veneer, the show's cast composition underwent shifts that echoed its dynamic. Characters Fred and Cora, initially present, were written out at the start of the second season due to perceived incongruity with the show's younger demographic. Their absence was rationalized by their orchestra tour, a movement with viewer disapproval. Reacting to this sentiment, the show's creators reintroduced both characters by the third season, albeit with Cora in a limited capacity. Mork and Mindy remains an emblem of William's unparalleled talent and the whimsical universe he and Marshall crafted. Its legacy thrives not just as a platform for William's comedic genius, but also as a testament to the interplay of laughter and tears that underpins the human experience. The name Orson, bestowed upon Mork's Orkin superior, pays homage to the legendary Orson Welles. This moniker holds a dual significance, serving as a tribute not only to Welles, but also to his iconic 1938 CBS radio broadcast of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. Wells' adaptation famously depicted Martian invaders touching down in New Jersey, a twist that sent waves of panic across America. The nod to this historic broadcast adds a layer of cultural reference to Mork and Mindy, connecting its extraterrestrial narrative to a defining moment in radio history. Producer Gary Marshall's inspiration for the series sprouted from his own son's fascination with Star Wars, Episode IV A New Hope. A youthful suggestion sparked the concept of an alien-themed show. Mork's distinctive persona, however, drew from the unexpected source of happy days. Director Jerry Paris, inspired by the Dick Van Dyke show, It May Look Like a Walnut, wove the quirky essence of Mork's character into the series. This episode, featuring Danny Thomas as a visitor from another world, planted the seed that grew into the unique charm of Mork and Mindy. In a peculiar twist, Mork's enigmatic alien pet, Bobo, made a curious appearance on the credits roster, credited simply as himself. This playful touch added an element of whimsy to the show's credit role, embodying the show's embrace of the unconventional. With a tapestry woven from nods to cultural touchstones, innovative character inception, and delightful quirks, Mork and Mindy carved its own niche in television history, capturing the imagination of audiences in 1978 and beyond. 
In a serendipitous turn of events, Al Molinero, known for his role in Happy Days, shared an acting class with the comedic dynamo Robin Williams. When the intended casting for the role of Mork in the Happy Days episode My Favorite Orkin faltered, Molinero seized the opportunity, suggesting Williams to Gary Marshall. Williams burst onto the scene in his debut as Mork, a character far from the friendly extraterrestrial we came to love. In My Favorite Orkin, Mork's demeanor was notably darker, even exhibiting a villainous streak. The episode even hinted at an intriguing twist, implying that Mork might have been a mere fragment of Richie Cunningham's dream. Amidst the whimsy of Mork and Mindy, a subtler tribute was paid. Mork's unmistakable space helmet, a quirky accessory, bore resemblance to the combat helmet donned by Michael and Sara in The Outer Limits, a nod to science fiction history seamlessly integrated into a zany sitcom. As the show soared in popularity, Williams' performance evolved, shaping the heartwarming, quirky character we remember today. The intersection of fate, casting choices, and creative twists birthed a television legacy that left an indelible mark on the landscape of entertainment. So there you have it, the curious inception of Mork and Mindy intertwined with the whims of fate, creative evolution, and a touch of sci-fi nostalgia. A testament to the unpredictable alchemy of television, where even dreams can become reality. As we bid adieu to the world of Mork and Mindy, we find ourselves not merely parting ways with a television series, but with a constellation of memories that have woven their way into the tapestry of our lives. Like the shimmering stardust that Mork often sprinkled about, this show ignited sparks of laughter and wonder in the hearts of many, leaving a trail of timeless moments that continue to light up our own personal galaxies. As the credits roll on the adventures of Mork from Mork and his human companion Mindy McConnell, we're reminded of the curious dance between two worlds, one of extraterrestrial oddities and the other of everyday quirks. In the folds of this whimsical narrative, we discovered not only the humorous escapades of an outlandish visitor navigating Earth's customs, but also a mirror reflecting the nuances of human connection, friendship, and the perennial search for acceptance. Think back to those evenings spent on the edge of your seat, chuckling at Mork's idiosyncrasies, and cheering for Mindy's unwavering support. Recall the times when their escapades touched upon the absurd, the heartwarming, and the genuinely thought-provoking. It's in these moments that Mork and Mindy transcended the screen reaching out to us with its cosmic arms, inviting us to ponder the peculiarities of our own existence and relationships. In a world where laughter often bridges gaps and where even the quirkiest of characters can resonate profoundly, Mork and Mindy found its place, not just in the annals of television history, but in our hearts. And now, dear friend, it's your turn to take the stage. What are your cherished memories of this interstellar journey? How did Mork's shenanigans and Mindy's steadfastness leave an indelible mark on your own adventures? Whether it's a hearty laugh that still echoes in your mind or a poignant moment that tugs at your heartstrings, your experiences matter. So, take a moment to share your thoughts, to relive those moments, and to celebrate the cosmic connection that this show sparked within you. With gratitude for your time and curiosity in exploring the universe of Mork and Mindy, we bid you farewell, knowing that the stardust of its brilliance will continue to twinkle in the corners of your memories. Until we meet again in the galaxies of storytelling and imagination.